39-year-old Guillermo Rigendau fought 37-year-old Liborio Solis from Venezuela for the vacant WBA bantamweight title. Liborito Solis is a tough come forward fighter with a record of 30 wins, 5 losses and 1 draw at the time of the fight. Also he was coming off of 5 straight wins but against people you've never ever heard of such as one guy who had a record of 2 wins and 23 losses. Solis has lost every time he has stepped up in competition. He's a pressure fighter but he doesn't really do any of the things that make pressure fighters effective. He only throws one or two punches every time he comes in. He doesn't really go to the body and he can't cut off the ring. You would expect that a guy like this would be perfect for Guillermo Rigondeaux style which is a slick southpaw counter puncher. But Rigondeaux really knows how to disappoint. I don't mean to be too hard on Rigo but he was actually being booed during most of the fight. He knows how to suck the air out of an arena. This is not the first time he's been booed. He did get the decision victory, but he looked flat and old. Now, back in the day, Rigo used to be promoted by top rank, and Bob Arum used to get a lot of criticism for not promoting Rigo well enough. People would say things like, Rigandau is pound for pound. Why does no one know him? Aram is fucking up. But this is why. He is boring to the average casual fan. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy watching Rigandau work. I like the way he lures his opponent into his left counterpunch hand. But he never initiates his own offense. He's always looking for the counterpunch and that gets old after a while. Remember, Boxing is also an entertainment business and if you have the fans booing you at every one of your fights then I don't know what to tell you. Getting decision victories over mediocre opponents is just not enough. I mean look at Demetrius Andrade as another example. He's super talented. He got his a KO victory over his last opponent but sometimes his fights are just playing out boring to watch. Andre's fights can be like watching grass grow and then some fans wonder why nobody knows about Andre? Why Canelo Alvarez isn't in a rush to fight this guy because nobody knows him, his style is too boring. Same with Regandau. I honestly think that sometimes I would prefer to just go outside, sit in the shade and watch the grass grow than to watch some of these boring ass fights. Anyways. Guillermo Rigondeaux has been put on the big stage a few different times including the undercard of Canelo Alvarez and Miguel Cotto, also Manny Pacquiao and Timothy Bradley but when he isn't boring the audience to death he's quitting such as when he quit against Lomachenko halfway through the fight. This guy has had plenty of shots to make himself a superstar but he hasn't taken advantage of them. Yet we still have some fans in this sport that call him the most abused boxer in the world. Now there are talks of Rigondeaux taking on Nayoya Inoue. In my opinion, I think Inoue stops Rigondeaux easily with the body shots, with the power, with the speed and the youth advantage. I think he's too much for Rigondeaux at this point. One hitter here, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>
and maybe even unifying with one of the other champs. I would love to see Brook against someone like Jamel Charlo or Jason Rosario. Now whether he wins against those guys is another story, but thanks to Kel Brook, now it seems like this division is even more volatile and more exciting. Congratulations Kel Brook. Subscribe! 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 Subscribe!